Good evening. All World Stage once again presents the weekly underground TV show, New Wave Theater. Taped live at the Burbank Studio Center, New Wave Theater is a series dedicated to the changing role and responsibility of music as an art form currently existing under the banner of the exploding New Wave movement. With your host and guide, the charming and delightful Peter Ivers, tonight's ghost hosts and the crew, we welcome you back to New Wave Theater. Welcome to New Wave Theater. New Wave music is now, if you want to keep up with the times. It's not doomsday music like some fear, but just the pressured times we live in that this new music reflects. It is alive on the wings of tears. We are each here to make our way in life toward identity or extinction. And though we can be helped or hindered to either, it depends entirely on our individual and collective selves what will become of us. It is this concern that lies at the basis of New Wave music in one form or another. This concern that shouts for attention. Life is a combat zone, as millions daily suffer the fatigue known only to foot soldiers. The everyday younger casualties' names are chiseled in the dust of non-existent memorials to man's inhumanity to man. We babble about those who make it, but not about those who disappear beneath the waves. A world of the living where you're only as good as your last breath. What a testimony to progress. What a testimony to man's higher nature. What a world to entertain in. What a world to create. What an opportunity. Here's a samurai band who take their honor seriously. They intend to be a model of virtue, of simplicity, to model your town.
Here with the model, Marv, Joe, John, and Dick. These guys epitomize one of the strongest and most truthful elements of the movement because it comes from a very righteous place, a true heart place. But Marv, why don't you elaborate first on your concept in this song of the destructive nature of rock and roll? Oh, uh, rock and roll started destructive. Uh, Elvis Presley shaking his hips on... Uh, at Sullivan, Beatles moving their wigs. On Ed Sullivan, <laughs> Rolling Stones. I mean, challenging the norm. Yeah. And uh, Beethoven was doing music that was ahead of uh, its time. He was doing things that were beyond Mozart and Haydn. Townsend was doing things that were ahead of Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley. And uh, bring it right up to you. Yeah, we want to go next. You are next, pal. You are next. Also, you're somebody that I see actually working in a job around Hollywood and putting in your time and your dues. What's it like being a person that lives in this town and does this music that you believe in and has a message trying to get it out? Well, if it's real straightforward music, if it's honest music, you can live with it day to day. I work in a record store. I sell pieces of vinyl. You don't believe in what the stuff is saying? Uh, most of it, no. I don't like, I don't like a lot of the production sound. I don't like uh, the non-meaning of the records. You mean the words? Uh, the words, the music, and uh, it's uh, the music that's coming out now. A lot of it is not aiming for the future, and the Amer the American market right now, unfortunately, hasn't put out anything. These guys are a model for the future. The model. What is life but a populace of contrived virtue? And here's Ohm, spiritually significant and deeply surrounded. Thank <laughs> you. 
Steve of Ohm. Steve, do you see the populace of contrived virtue arrayed before you? Well, actually, raid is only confined to a simple uh, bug canister, which I'm not uh, too familiar with. Does death figure significantly in your view of that senatorial judge that seems to sit in front of us? Well, I was deeply moved by the birthday of Bonzo recently. And I'm sure we all will be joining him. Somebody's daughter died at an earlier point in the history of that band, and maybe we should dedicate our spiritual souls to them. And join them, hopefully. Seem to want to go to the dead place. Oh, why is that? Don't you believe in life? Well, death on this planet is life in the next. <laughs> death. Is only life. Larry. Larry. Steve. Ohm. Ohm. Friend. Ohm. Friend. Many people think that New Wave isn't happening. Well, every week we come here and we see about 150 people really getting off on the music and the scene. And just because it hasn't hit the marketplace, it's starting to hit your neighborhood. Caroline here in Yancey just opened a store right next to Schwab's called Cheap Thrills. A lot of my clothes come from there, and they're there, so watch out, guys. Watch out. They're in your neighborhood. And now, you're never going to be safe. Um, no safety, just rhythm. The pearls!
There really is no safety and no rhythm. So feel it. And use it. Mm. No safety, no rhythm. The pearls. Will, Brad, Weba, Jim, and Steve. And the fans. Weba, you really think we can get along with no documents? Um, I think we should try. Why not? Now, one of the things that we've been saying about the new wave bands is that they have a theatrical presentation as well as musical. It's not just a bunch of people standing up playing their songs. What about the theater of it and how do you use that to express the message? Well, the whole point of the song and the whole point of not having documents is it's about the play we're doing right now. We wrote music for a play down on the, the company theater and the people in the play don't live. There, there is no safety for them. Is there safety for us on this planet? Um, yeah, there's safety, but it's it's personal safety. It has to begin with, you know, where Each you... Each and every one of us. That's right. How do you get that personal sense of safety? Where is the centered place? The center is where you are. <laughs> if you rely on other people for safety, you're not going to get it. Uh, Brad, i just like to point out, has a very unique hairstyle where he pulls new wave punk pigtails out to the side. Steve, you wrote the music. What are your ideas about what the planet needs and how we can shape it up? Needs? Nothing. Just music. Just find the way we are. Disintegrating. I racked and you ran. Weeb. Uh, <laughs> thank you. It's a sign of affection. Tell us the meaning of life. Give us the true, from your heart, serious answer. Come and see the play. Not the ad. I'm talking about you. What it means for you. Uh, what it means to me, I'm doing this because uh, I love to do theater and I love to do music. And New Wave is both of them. And that's the best of both worlds. The best of all three worlds. New Wave Theater. Hi there. Red Eulogy here, your Ganko Guardian. Friends, what kind of music are you going to be listening to after they drop the big one, hmm? If you've taken the time to shelter your record collection, chances are there's going to be nothing left to play them on by the time the Holocaust takes place. So prepare for the apocalypse now by investing in your new Genko nuclear-proof radio cassette player. Guaranteed to avoid a 20 megaton direct hit. Even if you're wiped out, your Genko will keep on playing till after the cows come home, which will be never. If you survive, and nothing else does, your Genko will keep right on playing on the only nuclear-proof radio station, KRIP. Send for yours now, and without obligation and free, we'll send you five new Genko artists on album cassettes, such as Philosophy's Greatest Hit, Before It's Too Late, Ed Duke Cajun's Plaintive Answer Back, and Yukon Jewett's Last Hope. This gift collection not available anywhere on the planet, so send for yours now, free, with your own Genko Health Proof Machine. Send $139.95 cash or gold to Genko's last offer box, 666, Six Mile Island, at Nye, Illinois. And remember, a Genko in the hand is worth a gherkin in a blast. <laughs> What an old woman am I, said a friend of mine. I will remember the deep, profound mysteries of cipher. The truth, the meaning of brown cipher.
Let's acknowledge the creators, Cypher. Yea, though I exaggerate, they are as deep as Gauguin. Go. I'm here with Cypher, Kim, Ben, Jose, <laughs> Francis, and Marsha. Marsha, you have a very heavy and serious message which you've communicated early. Tell me what it really is. What are you so serious about? What am I so serious about? You're the one that thinks I'm serious, not me. You have a message about truth and reality that I want you to communicate to them in five seconds. In five seconds? Yeah, give it to them. Go, girl. Live life fully. 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 New wave bands, for one reason or another, have refused to give in to the big squeeze, to the vinyl vacuum of disposable nightmares. In their worthy way, they recognize the difference between what appears to be and what really is. What a world to pretend that everything's okay in. Suffering for everyone's folly, they carry the double weight of hopelessness along with the normal artist's pain while attempting to keep alive the big beat inside them, inside us all. Our world did not turn on us overnight, and it will not be repaired by the morning. But we built it piece by piece till its marbled radium glow has covered half the globe and pours through the water faucets of the other half. Our technology has allowed us to move faster through time so that we could finally arrive nowhere faster. And so here we are, on the road to nowhere, with our lunchboxes filled with pain and our thermoses filled with nectar. Hovering on the sidelines, new wave bands can see where we're going with a clarity unclouded by water cooler conspiracies. As commentators and artists, their life is given to the truth in art, and their double responsibility as leaders in exile, as well as artists, make sparks that cannot go too long unnoticed in the dark. What a play, what a trip, what a dip in the unknown. On behalf of our producer, All World Stage, this is your all-too-human host, Harbor Boy Ivers, wishing you a hostile honeymoon in the hermitage of Harpocrates.